All right, guys, so today in class, we talked about absolute value. Um, so just for a quick recap, what is absolute value? Um, absolute value is the distance that an integer is from zero on the number line. So we talked about in class how um, distance can never be zero. You can't, or it can't be negative. You can't travel a negative distance. So anytime we're talking about distance, it's gonna give us a positive value. So when we're talking about absolute value, our answers are going to be positive, okay? So um, when we look at absolute value notation, we learned in class that we don't always write out all those words. What is the absolute value of, okay? Sometimes we're gonna see it written, actually most of the time, we're gonna see it written in these bars, and we have to know that those bars are saying, what is the absolute value of negative nine, okay? Now sometimes, we're gonna have a negative sign on the outside of those bars. So this one is saying, what is the negative absolute value of negative three? Okay, so let's go back up here to this one. The absolute value of negative nine is just asking us how many spaces on the number line is negative nine away from zero? Negative nine is nine spaces. So the absolute value is nine. When we were talking about the negative absolute value, we know that the absolute value of negative three is three, so the negative value of that would be a negative three, okay? So if you've got your negatives on the outside, your answer is gonna be negative. If their um, negatives are on the inside, or if it's a positive on the inside, it's gonna be a positive, okay? So let's take a look at this number line. This has got a couple of examples on it here. Um, our question is saying, what is the absolute value of negative three? Well, if we count one, to three is three spaces away, so the answer is three. This question is saying, what is the absolute value of positive five? So we start at zero, one, two, three, four, five. It's five spaces, so our answer is a five. See how both of those are positive? It's because we're talking about distance, okay? So let's look at a few more examples. Um, this one is asking us, what is the absolute value of negative four, or how many spaces on the number line is negative four from zero, and it is four spaces, okay? This one says, what is the absolute value of positive eight? If we looked at a number line, eight is eight spaces away from zero, so it's a positive eight. Um, okay, so this one looks a little different. It is, what is the negative absolute value of positive two? So we know the absolute value is two, but the negative value of that would give us a negative that negative's on the outside, so our answer is a negative. And this one says, what is the negative absolute value of negative six? Well, we know that the absolute value of negative six is six, and so the negative value of that is negative six. 